All right, what is going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan battle video. So as you guys know, April Fools is right around the corner and historically Dokkan has always done something fun for us to commemorate the occasion every single year. Last year we had the 8-bit Dokkan with the 8-bit Vegeta and the 8-bit Goku. And both of them were actually really, really solid free-to-play units. And the year before that, we had the Dolly Battle fake Dokkan dating sim with the waifu card that unfortunately was not playable, but still a really dope addition to the collection. So I think it's safe to assume that we will be getting something new this year as well as far as a maybe new event and definitely a new unit to commemorate this year's April Fool's on April 1st and uh, unfortunately at this point in time I don't have any official news or information for you guys as far as what Dokkan or Bandai has in plan or has in store for us but what I can do is share with you guys some of my personal predictions or guesses for what this new April Fool's unit will be this year and I'm sure a lot of you guys have some really great ideas too so feel free to share them in the comments down below and we'll all find out in a couple days whether or not any of us were actually correct. All right, so without further ado, let's jump right into it. My personal predictions for this April Fools. The first one is Super Saiyan Hercule, and I do not take credit for this because it's actually a very popular theory that's been going around the Dokkan community, and uh, I would be totally, totally okay with this. This, uh, if you guys don't remember, is from uh, the first season of Dragon Ball Super and it's just like one of Hercules BS fantasies where he says that he went Super Saiyan and defeated uh, Beerus by himself and uh, I'm personally a big fan of the just whole Hercule meme so this would be pretty dope to me so that's prediction number one Super Saiyan Hercule with the Super Saiyan hair the mustache and the Super Saiyan aura next up we have Handsome Boo and of course this dude is from the Boo Saga where I think he's like destroying a city and then there's like a girl in the corner crying and then he sees this magazine beside her with uh, a male model and he decides to change his face to the model's face to impress her or scare her or something. I don't really know. It was like a completely throwaway scene but it always stuck in my mind and uh, I thought it was pretty jokes. So we have Handsome Boo as number two. And number three is Super Saiyan 3 Nappa. Now, there's been a lot of speculation, a lot of talk, you know, ever since Dragon Ball Z came out, basically, about what Nappa would look like in a Super Saiyan state. And uh, as it turns out, I mean, at least according to the creators of Dragon Ball Heroes, um, he's still gonna remain bald, he's still gonna have no hair, but he's basically just gonna grow more facial hair and it's gonna go blonde. And I think in a Super Saiyan 1 form, it's like a little bit less hair, and then when he goes Super Saiyan 3, it just becomes bushier, and uh, he grows like a beard instead of just having a mustache, or something like that. I don't remember what a Super Saiyan 1 form looks like, but this apparently, according to Heroes, is Super Saiyan 3 Nappa, and uh, obviously we've done Heroes crossovers in the past, so I don't see why this is not possible. And I don't think we're ever really gonna get like a summonable Super Saiyan 3 Nappa. So if he becomes a, you know, April Fool's card, I mean, he looks freaking hilarious, let's be honest. So um, if he becomes an April Fool's card, I would be 100% down for that. So third prediction, Super Saiyan 3 Nappa. And number four is a Vegeta. And specifically, we're talking about the uh, pink apron Vegeta. Um, there's actually a lot of scenes with him, but my personal favorite is the one where he like just can't stop breaking eggs, as you can see from the gif right here. Um, one of the more funny Vegeta moments in my opinion. I mean, anytime we see like a silly Vegeta, it's always funny to me because he's just like such a serious character, right? So when he breaks that character, it's uh, always a good time. And there's quite a few different poses we actually can use for the card art here because he does a lot of different things in the pink apron, right? Like for example, I actually have two figures here of uh, Vegeta in the apron and also like a little maid um, skirt or whatever you want to call it. So this one is him like with a broom doing some cleaning and the other one is him just like holding out the egg and I think both of them are directly from the anime. 
So uh, either one would be okay with me. I think there's some other poses they could use too. Just like Vegeta doing random house tours and stuff like that. This is probably my personal favorite. I don't know. It's between this or... Super Saiyan 3 Nappa. I think both of them would be awesome. So that's my fourth pick. Next up, we could also add Goku to the action. And maybe it can be like a dual um, Goku and Vegeta made card with Goku in the blue apron and Vegeta in the pink apron. And my last final pick or final guess for this year's April Fool's card for Dokkan is another Vegeta card. I mean, it kind of makes sense because like we are coming off Saiyan Day, so maybe it should be another Saiyan. And uh, this one is Vegeta, Dancing Vegeta from um, Super, once again from Battle of Gods, where he does that hilarious bingo dance. And uh, another quality, quality Vegeta moment. Here's another uh, scene or another part from that dance. So yeah, any of these moments is 100% okay with me. Um, if I had to settle on one, I think I really, really want the pink apron Vegeta, either breaking eggs or cleaning the house or doing something of that sort. And then my second pick would be Super Saiyan 3 Nappa. And uh, any of the other ones would be great too. You know, Handsome, Boo, Super Saiyan Hercule, um, Dancing Vegeta, all that stuff will be great as well. And uh, those are my personal predictions, guys. I just want to put this video out there in the universe. So just in case any of these actually becomes the card, I can say that, you know, I, I predicted it, kind of. Anyways, that is pretty much the video, guys. I know some of these ideas are not the greatest, but this is what I got for now. And uh, if you guys have any better ideas than me, feel free to let me know once again in the comments down below. I would love to go through them and uh, see if anybody actually comes up with the, you know, real answer for this year's April Fool's card. And of course, we'll find out in like literally three or four days, so we don't have to wait that long. And uh, that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think about my predictions. And uh, I guess happy early April Fool's. Do people say that? I don't really know. Anyways, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked the video, make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you wanna stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it, I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger. Uppercut Media, signing out.